guys, I am Chris Kaler and I'm Amber from Spaging Cosplay and today guys we are back again with you with Hunter Hunter episode 145 almost at the end yes almost and last episode was all about the election as we're waiting for Aruka to wake up so we can heal Gon um Lilio is number two and Periston is number one she's betting that person's gonna win this election I'm betting on my boy Leorio. I don't... Or something else. I think people are voting for Leorio because he's honest and stuff, but he himself said last episode that he's selfish. If he became chairman, it would be all about saving Gon. He's gonna make the election, uh, this association great again. <laughs> no, but in any, in any way, you know, people in the room, they know Gon, so it could work. But then Pearson said that he would also focus on helping Gon, but... It's not just about Gon, you know, it's about everything else. And he kind of cited what you need in a good chairman. And he says, I'm neither of those, like, I'm not any of those things, but these people are and stuff. So, like, he's, like Jin said, he's, he's the type of character that doesn't want to lose, but he also doesn't want to win, which, in my opinion, makes him a, not necessarily a good candidate, but a good candidate in the eye of the people because he doesn't seem to truly want it for himself, you know, like the other characters who... They truly want it, but it looks like they truly want it just to stop Harrison from getting it. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's pretty much what happened last episode. It was uh, the, the speech from everyone, uh, every candidate. So, mm. Which was funny because basically everyone said, I'm not the best one, this one is. <laughs> take this one, take this one, I'm gonna pick myself. Huh? Okay, that's different. Well, no one actually said they were gonna pick themselves. Lorio. No, he said he wasn't, you know, he kept saying he wasn't really. No, here. all of them <laughs> said, Lorio said, choose him or choose her, that she's the most, or she's the best candidate for him. Yeah, he just straight up um, said what he was gonna do if he, yeah. if he, if he won. We will see. But uh, yeah, it's gonna keep going this episode, but now it's gonna go faster perhaps because the people are stuck in the room and no one is getting out until I, the chairman is chosen. They need to make a decision. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, let's jump in this episode and see what happens next. Hopefully we can heal Gon, because he needs to wake up before Jin gets out. <laughs> and what is the six rules? Sixth oh yeah, rule, that, that's yeah. also a secret that we need to figure out. We'll see. So yeah, episode 145. Don't forget to subscribe, you guys, if you want to see more of these episodes and check out our Patreon for the full reactions. Let's go. Let's go. Sad that my boy Kurapika isn't here. He's got well, a mission. He's got a revenge. Eh, uh, no, but to, to to do, I guess. Too focused on his own thing, to to care and stuff and show up for his friends. I get why Leody was mad at him. <laughs> In any case, so Gun is um, awake and he's about to meet his dad for the first time. It's a long time, Jim. Uh, but yeah. long time coming. Jim's not the. Will not receive the best father awards anytime soon. Oh, definitely not. Uh, it's a joke every time we call him father of the year, you know? <laughs> uh, but that aside, because it's going to be next episode, hopefully. Um, Pariston, I will give him that is intelligent. And I think where he won, which is crazy because, you know, everyone is always in the Zodiacs. They were always saying, you know, I don't trust him and stuff like that. And I, you know, we don't know what he's thinking and... and but the thing is, their mistake is that none of them were truly trusting each other. Like, no one was working together truly to defeat Parison or anything. Like, they don't trust one another because I think they're at this level where they have the power to do whatever they want. They're not friends. Mm. And it's all about... Well, it's not necessarily all about power, but it's like they can't afford to trust each other. Whereas Parison, who's supposed to be the slick guy who no one trusts, is actually the one who ended up trusting the his enemies which made him win in the end <laughs> so his strategy was basically the one thing i'm like well you should everyone else should have done that if they truly wanted to to win this and and the guy we didn't expect this from is the only one who did it yeah because uh, i mean yeah i think he respects he's, he's open about the fact that he's you know the enemy of all these other characters like he he's not their friend but he respects their power he respects their intelligence and it's true that you know, if I was Jing's enemy and I respect Jing as a fighter, as a hunter, and as a person, I'm like, yeah, I trust that he's going to make the right decisions and, and what he says, you know, will matter and stuff. So if he says his son survives, yeah, I trust that he's not saying that just yeah. he, because. And if Jin put his own trust in these people, I should do the same, right? Yeah. 
So I understand, I kind of understand what he, what he went for here, which is a total, like, it's not just intelligence. It's, it's, a, a bon sens in French. Like, it's, it's like, bon sens. It's just... Makes sense. It makes sense. And maybe, I mean, if he's willing to trust a fighter's capabilities, a fighter's trust in, in his friends and stuff, mm -hmm. maybe he would be a good chairman. The, like I said, the only thing I really didn't like about him was how they portrayed him and how they showed him to us. But then... Uh, he seems to be a guy with second, third, fourth, fifth secret agendas. Well, like he you said know? from the beginning... He had the picture of how it was going to end, but in his mind, he was losing until Leo no, showed up. Him, so yeah. that means that until Leo showed up, he was only playing, manipulating the people to have the fun that Jing was saying. You know, he just enjoyed pushing buttons and, and seeing people freak out and stuff. And when he truly had a chance, he took it. He took it and he won. And I'm going to uh, win, but... stage uh, to his benefits. Because, yeah. like, they're saying, Gun, Gun, go make a speech, we'll vote for you. But I don't think Gun is going to do that. He's focusing on <laughs> yeah, Jing. <laughs> I, I wouldn't put uh, a 13-year-old kid as a chairman for a hunter association. And especially since, like, he's... Uh, he doesn't know his dad, but in his own way, I think he's similar in, in the fact that, like, he wouldn't want to stick here, you know, be stuck uh, here and rule over the association. Like, he would want... As soon as his goal is, you know attain like as soon as he meets dad his dad i'm guessing he's gonna want to travel the world you know go on adventures be with kidwa and stuff like i don't know what's next for him but it's definitely not staying here and maybe go, maybe go back to his island maybe go back to his island his true goal was to meet his dad and he's gonna do that so no maybe not meet his dad he wanted to learn what was so great about being a hunter for that for his dad to leave And yeah. it, by doing so, he made his dad. That's a plus. But he wanted to know, being a, his dad left to be a hunter. But he was, he was a hunter. Actively so. searching for Jing. He's always been actively looking well, for Jing. When, when his name came up, he decided to search for him. But like he became a hunter. I mean, he's got the passion. He's got the drive to become a hunter. But I don't think. I mean, until he meets Jing, I don't think he's his interest has ever been in treasures or discovering stuff or stuff. It's always been about, yeah, discovering what makes a hunter and why a hunter would leave. But for that, for him to truly understand that, he kind of needed to meet Jing. Yeah. Ask well, all his questions. There he is. But then again, like with all he's been going through, all his adventures, maybe he's got the, the answer already. Not worth so it. It's not worth I'm going back. <laughs> well, no, but asking him the question is not necessary anymore. So it's all about, let's, we'll see what they tell each other when they, mm. they truly meet. As for Jing, like, I don't think he, 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 I think he believes that he would not be a good father, which could be part of the reason why he doesn't want to meet Even Gong. Even though that he created with his friend Greed Island for his son. Oh, he's thinking that he of his son. put some pieces there and there to help his son meet him or to become stronger. No, I, I think he thinks of Gon all the time. Like, he, he, he leaves stuff for him behind and he wants him to go on journeys and he wants him to have his life and do his thing. But... I don't think he personally believes he would be a good dad. <laughs> and to meet Gon would be like the challenge he's not willing to take. Yeah. Because he was like, he was, I think he's, he was mad that he had to stay here and stuck in this room because he knew like it was going to end probably with Gon showing up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. It's a French movie. He's going to have a bloodbath. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I mean, I've been waiting for the meeting since episode one so i'm all for it i'm excited to see what they're gonna you know what they're gonna ask each other what they're gonna say to each other what's his name again muriel the one who's morel morel muriel morel sorry morel the one who's he smokes. kind of ruined it for leorio but then again yeah, it's true though that why he told leorio that don't tell god that kid has saved him like we said maybe at, at what price but what was the cost for that There's not supposed to be a prize, unless we don't, like, we do not no, know. No, no, the sixth rule, there is something. I know, but the way he implied it, he's not, he doesn't suffer from the same consequences. Like, he doesn't follow the rules with Arga like the others do. So, like, even, like, Irumi was like, either, you know, it, it applies whenever they ask Nanika to save or heal someone or something there's no consequence like there's the demands the after not going to be cruel 
So that's what Kirua told them, but then he also implied that Kirua doesn't apply to the rule at all, so maybe Kirua asking stuff to Nanika always leads to, you know, simple demands after, or no demands at all. We'll see. Like, it was implied that Kirua just doesn't have to follow the rules like the others, and he did say, like, if they knew all the rules and how they apply to me, I, I would be manipulated right away. And like we saw, like, Edumi saw the power that Nanika can use, and he's like, that's mine, I want to use it. So, like, if Kirua can use all the wishes all the time, without consequences, yes, definitely he would try to manipulate his brother so he can use Nanika's pro uh, power. So we'll see, like, maybe there's a consequence, maybe there's not, but, um... I think Irumi is implying that Kirua could be used to make the wishes all the time without consequences. In any case, Kirua doesn't want her, his sister to be used as a weapon. He doesn't want to be, her to be used as Nanika all the time. So he, he, he wishes that this could be the last wish. He, do, he did say that whenever she heals, she falls asleep and it's going to be Aruka till the next wish. Yeah. Which is interesting, so that means that she's going to sleep for a while here, and then next, there's not going to be any conditions. So if we always use Nanika for a good thing, there's no consequences to there's it. There's also the fact that if she started the question and that person leaves, it's, uh, everything is kind of put on hold, and she's Aruka till that, that person comes back. So she's not making any more demands, any more wishes. Yeah, but he said after she heals, She's Aruka till the next wish. Yeah. So no demands. So after now she just healed gone. So next wish, depending on you know, is gonna there's not gonna be any demands till the next wish. That's what he said. And she's gonna stay herself. Well, unless you can make demands as Aruka, but yeah. Yeah. She makes demands as Aruka. Well anyway, well she so didn't make any demands though. The last wish was to heal uh, Tsubune's hand mm -hmm. and she didn't make any demands after that it was straight up heal gone she slept she woke up she healed gone there was no demand yeah that, that, that was weird no but that's I mean I'm guessing that's how the power works it's just that people like Irumi would be using her for bad stuff so mm. I wish we could just wish for her to not be Nanika ever again <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that is pos possible. At yeah, least. well, I don't know. Anything is possible in Hunter Hunter. Just saying. I kind of want to see next episode and see what what's gonna happen next. Me I want to see what happened to Kiro because he wasn't yeah. there. No, he, he, he wasn't, wasn't there, there, and Aruka wasn't there also. Well, Aruka's probably asleep. Hmm. But that was a lot of power. So who's to say there's nothing? Nothing happened after. I don't know. But if gone, like the thing is, gone has never really backed away from demanding shit from Kirua, you know, like, if he knows Kirua is capable of doing it, like, he would ask him to hurt himself to help whatever goal, like, we talked about this. kind of asked that of him in, on Great Island when they play a uh, dodgeball. Yeah, that's the thing. Or, he... No, he didn't ask that of him, but it was implied that he requested him to let himself be hurt. For him to use his power. But it's because he understood that Kirua would willingly do it. Like, it's not like, I'm forcing you to do that, but we've always talked about how Gon has this weird control over Kirua. Well, it's not even, in, you know, it's not even intentional. It's really, it's innocent, but Gon kind of assumes that Kirua, and he will do it. He assumes that Kirua will willingly hurt himself to well, help Gon in his quest. I, I, we, we talked about it, and I'm still going to say it again. I do not think that Gon is aware uh, of the fact that this is kind of fucked up to be trusting in each other to that point that you're willing to uh, willingly hurt yourself to help your friend. Yeah, but I, you know, that's to events his quest. But if it comes, you know, if I don't think, I, I hope that Gon would be mad if Kirua was like, I'm sacrificing myself to save you. Mm -hmm. I kind of hope that he would be like, well, dude, that's not what I want. You're my friend. You're not meant to suffer. <laughs> but that so far from what we've seen of Gon, like, he has been capable of that before. You know, using Kirua. Not using. Uh, using is, a, in, is an intense word for, for Gon. Because like you said, I don't think it's... I don't think he understands. You know, like, it's all he knows. He never really had friends before. And, and Kirua is, like, his first true friend. And that's how they work together. So I don't think it's you know, ill-mean or anything. Like, I don't think he 
means to be. But I don't. I think that is the fact that between these two, there's no ill wishes no. or ill uh, second meanings. Yeah, that's what they I just said. Trudge, <laughs> they just trudge it, each other that much. Yeah, I know, but yeah, I don't think he. I I would say I don't think Gon would appreciate. Well, I don't, I don't think he would want Kirua to hurt or put himself in danger. For in order to heal Gon, he would be like, I made the, those choices. I put myself in this bed. I don't want you to do anything bad to yourself or put yourself in danger for me. So we'll see. But I'm guessing maybe that's why he's like, don't tell him that that's how he, he was mm. healed. Because he would be asking how, yeah. what happened. Yeah. And we'll if he see. knows, well. We'll see. Because Kiruwa won't, won't lie to him about that. I don't no. think so. We'll see next episode how <laughs> well, we need the conversation. We need Jing and Gon. We need Kirua and Aruka to see what happens there. We need to stop Irumi. There's still a bunch of shit going on that we need to clear before the end, so yeah. Well, thanks, we've got still three episodes left. Yeah, it's gonna happen, so let's let's go. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode with us. If you want to see the next one right away, it is on Patreon already, as well as the other one too. So if you want to check that out, look out on Patreon. The link is in the description below. Yeah, if you don't, the next one will be on YouTube next week, guys. So stay tuned. Uh, no, wait, this one, I don't later, know. Later this week. Wednesday or Saturday. Soon. I don't remember when this one comes out. Soon. <laughs> All right, yeah. so stay tuned. Bye.